I'm, I'm opening up the third chart. Uh, okay. okay. You can see the oh, the balik. Okay, just now, uh, as you mentioned, mm. when, uh, when the client is directly dealing to all other uh, financial uh, advisor, and then oh, uh, financial it, product it, wider. Yeah, for, yeah, for the financial product yeah. provider, yeah, as you said, and then the other choice is to go through an IFA, which is the independent yes. financial advisor, who is not yes. tied to any company. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, 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 so like yeah. I mentioned just now, when you deal with a uh, company like that, other than you, you only limit getting the product limited to by the company. But at the same time, also when you when you have uh, when you want to review or monitor your investment, you can see you got so many statements from different company. Mm -hmm. Most consumer they be quite lost. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if you use an IFA, the IFA. They are not attached to any company. You can go and choose the best product for you, number one. Number two is that after they, they got the product for you, when you receive all the statements from a uh, trust company, insurance company, or whatever investment that you do, the IFA will be able to consolidate and compare all these investments for you to monitor. You know? So mm -hmm. that will be an easier task for you, you know? so to compare all these investments Fund A, Fund B, or Fund C, apple to apple. Mm -hmm. You know, see what's up. In terms of analyzed return, Fund A is doing five percent, Fund B doing seven percent, mm -hmm. Fund C doing negative five percent. So you you will know very clearly which one perform better, which one perform less, and the IFA can recommend you to say if this Fund C is performing poorly, maybe you should sack the fund manager, change it totally. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. If you have been so uh, uh, for now the fund C if you bought the fund from one uh, maybe fund uh, a unit trust company it's very unlikely the the, the fund the, the, the financial will say will, will to ask you to to sell off the the own fund you no know? yeah. because if you sell all the fund and buy from company B that's yeah. where they will lose the income so very unlikely to do so compared to IFA yeah that's that's like <laughs> conflict the interest of his uh he's like. Uh, not watching over his own pocket, uh. <laughs> Yes. If yeah. he's going to he, do that, <laughs> if, if he were to take care of your pocket, yeah. he will be at the expense of his own pocket. Yeah. You know? So if he were to take care of his own pocket, then it may not be good for you because you no, know, he may not give you the good, the the, the objective advice. Eh? So at yeah. the end, there's no way to win. Both ways to win. Eh? Yeah. Uh, in an IFA situation, the fact that they can generate income from any of the unit trust fund company, mm -hmm. so uh, at least they will, IFA make sure that you win, you know, you, you mm -hmm. your fund perform better, you are happy, the mm -hmm. IFA can continue to actually generate income from any of the unit trust. So both parties are happy actually. Yeah, that's a win-win situation for all. And let's move yes. on to the next chart. And yes, uh, there's a, one chapter I think is... Uh, Chapter, let me refer it. Mm. Uh, chapter three. You say that DIY finances do not work. <laughs> yeah, it is shown in. I think this chart will speak really speak uh, the concept you want to convey. Okay. Okay, why why is DIY yeah why why is DIY um, DIY finances why do not work why shouldn't we do it ourselves? Because uh, as you can see, we, we all got twenty four hours a day. Okay, so uh, you look at the the first uh, what what you call it uh, the the first chart that we actually have ninety yeah. percent sorry sorry this is the same chart uh, the first uh, box uh, yeah, first the first box you can see that. Uh, yeah, uh, the twenty-four hours worth that we have. If we put ninety percent of making money, mm -hmm. we got very li little time spent. Maybe ten percent left on money optimization. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you won't be able to uh, optimize your money well. But if you want to put more time to say, hey, hey yeah, I, I don't want to engage an IFA. I want to do it myself. So okay, fair. You put fifty percent of your time. To optimize your money, mm -hmm. but you are doing it at the expense of your money making, mm -hmm. you know. And 
for some people, and then I think the third, uh, the third box is even worse. This guy said, I want to spend even more time <laughs> how to learn how to, how to invest, to learn how to do the whale, uh, how to compare the insurance plan. Yeah. Then the person end up spending 90% and have only 10% effort <laughs> you know, a time on the money making. Which to me, I think is quite ridiculous, you know, because yeah. money optimization, I think, uh, Casey, I think you also recommend you to use uh, financial uh, advice, independent financial advisor. Yeah. But it is something that you can delegate to a professional, and this professional, they are licensed by security commissions and bank mm -hmm. So No, they, they can do very well job for you. Whereby money making is something that you can do it yourself, you know, using your own yeah. strength, your, 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 your own genius, no, to, to do it yourself whenever you cannot delegate to someone else to drive it for you, you know? mm -hmm. So I, 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 that's why I always advocate you know, to don't need to do it yourself, delegate to someone else so that you can focus more energy, uh, more effort on making more money. Yeah. I think that, that would be more ideal in our time poor you know, society now. Yeah. Yes, like for example, a, a doctor who is making a lot of money doing his medical practice and then if he's yes. going to like compare all the insurance plan like spend the whole day collect all the plans and see which one is better how to go to, to a different insurance agents <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> that doesn't make sense oh, right <laughs> that doesn't make sense and, and guess what at the end of the day eh, yeah. he, he will still you know understand and compare get all the the gist of the whole point you know? and there's so many fine things that he may, he may not be aware about you know? yeah so to me it's just counterproductive yeah, counterproductive is the word. Mm. Great. Let's uh, if what you suggest is like the this, oh. like what is shown is this chart. Uh, this is what you suggest. Chart, chart five. Yes, ninety percent of effort should be put on money making, and then ten yes. percent effort on money optimization, but the ten yes. percent is hundred percent. Uh contributed by the an independent financial advisor yes yeah so when you when you have when you when you actually leverage on an independent financial advisor mm -hmm. uh, of course the independent financial advisor that really true blue one uh, yeah. will be able to make sure that uh, all your cash flow planning retirement planning insurance planning estate planning all done so uh, even though you spend 10 percent of your effort only you you, you enjoy the 10 percent uh, it's like hundred percent of effort being done by yourself, mm. you no? Know? And I think the best part is that you get to spend ninety percent or maximum of your time, mm -hmm. okay, to make more money. You no, know? that's where that you help you can, uh, you can actually become wealthy with less effort. Mm -hmm. you no, know? you know? of course, some people say, hey, yeah, I, I spend enough time to make more money already. So again, the time that you save, you can go and pursue your other hobby like this now, you no? Know? Okay. Uh, maybe play guitar, do some songs or things like that, and uh, have a more balanced life. You know, why why you don't spend your time compare insurance policy and compare unit trust? Yeah, so there are better things to do in life. Yeah, definitely okay. agree. So that, that's why. That's why. So that's the the concept is to leverage on IFA independent financial advisor yeah. service to actually have a really good money optimization, and you can focus yes, this, this most one. of your time on your money making effort which is like you say nobody can do it for you you have to do it yourself <laughs> for this part <laughs> uh, unless Casey you, you have a new uh, new uh, cost on this matter uh, <laughs> and you can delegate to someone else to do it yeah 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 <laughs> probably <laughs> okay now uh, let's go to the last chart I think uh, this chart is very interesting because you rep you you represent a financial advisor uh, using a box, which is a 3D box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. So uh, maybe you want to explain about what what is this uh, diagram about? Three-dimensional functions of an IFA. Yeah. I I I create I, I create this 3D box because I, I I'm trying to find a way to communicate uh, the the how extensive is the work uh, or or the capability of an IFA. You know. So uh, let's start on the top there, five key roles of an IFA. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh, you can see there are five key roles here. Number one is that IFA can play a role as a gatekeeper. Because 
uh, like in our case, there's a lot of clients they want to actually sell. Uh, they, they receive a lot of proposals from bank, from the unit trust agent, the insurance agent. So what we do is that we act as a gatekeeper to help them to filter which one is useful for them, not useful for them. Okay, mm -hmm. so they can save the time. Number two is that we. IFP also act as a coordinator to coordinate, <coughs> say for example, sometimes the client wants to actually set up a trust. So they, they got no time to go and talk to the trustee, uh, work out the trustee, uh, look at all the legal documents. Uh. So they, they rely on someone like us to go and coordinate with the trustee, uh, do some part of the paperwork, so to minimize the work involved for, for the client. Number three is information organizer. I think a lot of people are uh, not so good in organizing their financial information. So I have a, uh, the fact that when they help you, they have all the, all the information about your the will, your trust, your funds, your offshore funds, your unit trust, your properties, your EPF account. So you can rely on them to organize all this information and update for you so that you can have access to it at the fingertips. You know? mm. And the fourth is playing the devil's allocate as a coach. You know? Because mm -hmm. uh, consumer normally have strong preference on a certain thing. See, I got a client who would like to talk about investment. Whenever talking about investment, investing in gold, he's very excited. Mm -hmm. But when, I talk, when we talk about will, talking about trust, the, uh, insurance, he's like, you no, know, very sleepy. I have no interest at all. <laughs> no. So, so, but as a coach, we need to tell the client, hey, you, you cannot just do what you like to do, you know, and, and, mm -hmm. and ignore other parts. So as a coach is that we, we will coach the client to pay attention on other area which is less exciting but also important. You know? uh, the fourth is financial freedom uh, navigator. Well, I, uh, it's something to say that uh, this is related to the roadmap to financial freedom that we had uh, before mm -hmm. in the last book. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when you want to achieve financial freedom, we want to achieve uh, have a comfortable retirement. Return on investment of our investment is not only the only factors, you know. Uh, when do we retire it is also a factor. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do we uh, save now is also a factor. Uh, how, how much what kind of lifestyle and how much are we going to spend when we retire is also a factor. And how much we going to spend on our children's university education is also a factor. So, uh, there are so many factors that they can make or break one's financial freedom, uh, success or not. Mm -hmm. So, uh, IFA can play a role to guide you to say that uh, how do you manage all these factors for you to successfully achieve your financial freedom. So, that is the five key roles. And, and next, uh, you can see uh, on the left hand side, uh, eight, eight areas, areas of the personal uh, finance. So you can see, uh, to way optimize the money, like what I mentioned just now, you cannot just go to number two, you know, investment planning. You know? This is a part I, I believe a lot of people spend a lot of energy, spend a lot of time, you know, because it's most exciting. But there are another seven areas a lot of people overlook. Number mm. one, risk management and insurance planning. You know, to protect your income, to protect your family in the event of your death and other misfortunate events. Number three, yeah. Education planning, uh, tertiary education funding for your children. Number four, retirement planning for your own self. Mm -hmm. Number five, asset protection to find out a way to protect the asset you have committed mm -hmm. against liabilities, against fires or disaster. Mm -hmm. Number six, estate planning, will, trust, you know, EPF nomination. Uh, this part normally the people don't normally like to talk about it because people don't like to talk about it. <laughs> things like that yeah, yeah. and seven uh, debt and loan management managing your interest your loan repayment number eight last one not this your tax plan so you can see to really optimize your money you, you need to focus not only on investment planning you know a lot of people mm -hmm. thought that it's only investment planning which is very wrong it, it, it cover all the areas mm -hmm. so I, I'm glad that uh, uh, see that you, you, you shared in your books huh? the this top financial tips and things like that which cover all areas I believe. Huh? Yeah, I think so. From the, the personal finance. Huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then uh, uh, another dimension is six uh, holistic uh, yeah. money optimization steps. Mm. 
uh, this is uh, the international uh, proven or certified steps uh, for you to really optimize your number money. Mm. Number one is to set financial goals. Number two, gather your update your current financial information to know where's the balance sheet, where is your income, where's your expenditure. Number three is to analyze all the data, okay, uh, to see whether you you have a gap and whether you achieve your retirement or your planning for your children education. Mm -hmm. uh, number four is to develop a plan. You know, uh, what strategy you need to do. Maybe you need to actually increase the investment return. Maybe you need to actually uh, buy more property investment. Maybe you need to cover yourself for some insurance, get a bill done. Mm -hmm. Number five, of course, is to do the implementation. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. to get all these things done according to your plan. Number six, last but not least, is whatever things you do implement, uh, due to the fact that the, the, the world is changing a lot, it's very unlikely for you to get the plan done uh, according uh, to your ideal situation. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of surprise, a lot of changes needed to be done along the way. So that's why you need to monitor the plan and review it and take corrective action. No, and then go back to the step number one in next year. So uh, basically, as you can see, uh, what I have spent uh, maybe the last 10 minutes explaining uh, <laughs> this, uh, all the elaborate function and the job of an independent financial advisor. So imagine if you want to do the uh, money optimization well, you can do all these jobs yourself. No? Mm -hmm. uh, but if you do pass it to IFA, uh, if I have a proper system, proper experience and knowledge, you know, mm -hmm. they, they can do it you know, in a very efficient and in a very seamless manner. You know? So that's mm -hmm. why I say, uh, uh, I feel there's an urge for me to then write a book uh, <laughs> that properly explain what IFA is all about. Uh, whether you decide to engage an IFA uh, or not, that's a separate matter. Mm -hmm. you know, I leave it up to you. But I, 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 I think it's fair that for all those of us and maybe the the followers of Casey Law's blogs, uh, they they will know the the uh, what IFA can do. You know? yeah. so I think that's only fair. Yeah, that's definitely great. I thanks. I personally want to thank you for giving us uh, this uh, uh, precious time of yours to actually explain. Um, I think most of the things in your book, but of course there are. I think this is like thirty or forty percent of the books. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, it's great to actually buy the book and read it yourself. Let me get to the link. Uh, where can they buy your book? They can go to your website, right? Yapminghui.com. They can go to my website or they can go to the, all the major bookstores. I'm sure in Penang, all the major bookstores have my books. Yeah. Yep. So great. Uh, I urge everyone, if you want to connect to uh, Yapminghui, you can go to his website yapminghui.com which is here yapminghui.com and of course uh, if they want to engage your service also is a uh, there's no obligation you have a uh, one first appointment to meet and discuss everything like no obligation right yes 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 okay uh, i think anybody uh, who's interested to explore you can just come mm -hmm. to office to meet one of the ifa mm -hmm. and then the ifa can actually explain uh, what can he do for you, you know, how he can help you, mm. or maybe he can't help you, <laughs> so he will not explain <laughs> to you. So, uh, and then talk about the fee, whether you're agreeable with the fee, to see that the fee justify with the work. So the first meeting is no obligation, you know, like what uh, yeah. Casey mentioned just now. Yeah. yeah, that's great. So I urge everyone, take your first step, that's very important. Uh, leave the 90%, use 90% of your time to do the money making, uh, uh, put that effort on, on that and leave the money optimization effort to the IFA. Thank you very much, Mr. Yep. See you again soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.